Now, while technically it hasn't been declared that we are in a recession here in the United States, for all intents and purposes, the majority of Americans here in the United States feel like they are in a recession because your wages aren't keeping up with the high inflation, and that makes it harder to pay for your rent or your mortgage, it makes it harder to buy your groceries, it makes it harder to pay for your airfare, and really just continue surviving. But not surprisingly, it looks like 2023 is going to be rougher than 2022. Let me read you the first sentence from the BBC article. The head of the IMF said that 2023 will be tougher than last year as the US, EU, and China see their economy slow. The reason why this is so important to understand is because according to the IMF, you're going to see people feeling the effects of a recession even if their country is not in a recession because you have some of the biggest economies in the world. The US, the EU, and China all seeing their economies slow down. And the interesting thing is that each one of these three economies are seeing their economies slow down for different reasons. First, on the topic of China, here's what the IMF head had to say. I was in China last week in a bubble city where there's zero COVID, but that's not going to last once people start traveling. China has kept an extremely tight stance on COVID in their country even until now. And what that has done is it's restricted their economy because they're not letting some people go to work. Even if there's no COVID, you still have restrictions even until today. And the worry, according to the IMF, is what happens when COVID cases rise again, when people start traveling again. And these restrictions and lockdowns have hurt the growth of the Chinese economy. Take a look. This article is from CNN, but what it says is for the first time in 40 years, China's growth in 2022 is likely to be at or below global growth. Before COVID, China would deliver 34, 35, or 40 percent of global growth. It's not doing that anymore. We live in a globalized economy. So when the Chinese economy is hurting, it hurts a lot of other countries. It hurts a lot of Asian countries, and it hurts us here in the United States. In the first week of January, we got some new bad news about the European economy, and some analysts are now predicting that the European recession is going to be worse than expected because of that. The triggering factor in the EU isn't COVID lockdowns like China, it's the energy crisis that they're facing. Countries across Europe have been so reliant on Russian energy for many many years. And now that Russia has turned off the energy supply to Europe, Europe is now facing the consequences of high energy costs and not enough energy. This energy crisis across Europe has caused inflation to go through the roof in Europe, literally. And now this is causing even more financial pain to people in Europe because the cost of everything is rising so fast. And couple that with the fact that you have a lot of people that are carrying a lot of debt in Europe, unlike the United States, doesn't have 30 year fixed rate mortgages. And so you have their central banks in Europe that are working to raise interest rates and all these debt holders, people who have mortgages, people who have other types of debt are seeing their debts readjust in 2023 and 2024 at much higher interest rates than what they had before. This means higher and higher expenses while incomes are not keeping up. This brings us to what's happening here in the United States economy. Now, of course, if you want to stay up to date on what's happening in our financial markets when it's happening, then the easiest thing for you to do is to join Market Briefs, which is my free financial newsletter, because every day my team is breaking down what's happening in the global economy and our own economy and the housing market and the stock market and the crypto market into a fun, witty, and easy to read email. You can read the email in less than five minutes every morning. And even if you don't have a financial background, not only are you going to understand what's happening in the financial markets, but you're going to look forward to reading Market Briefs every morning. So Market Briefs is a simple and easy resource for you. If you haven't joined Market Briefs yet, it's completely free. And I'll put the link to how you can join for free down in the description below. If you enjoyed this short clip from my longer videos, here's another clip that I think you'll love. And while you're at it, if you're interested in learning more about how to start generating passive income, our team put together an amazing guide on how to start generating passive income for free. All you got to do is click that button right over there. Thank you for watching. And as always, keep hustling.